My name is Debayan and I am currently sitting in the Polestar 2 which in 2019 was the first car in the market to have the Android automotive system. Fast forward to 2024 and right now we see that more and more car makers like Ford, Renault, Nissan and Honda to name a few are jumping on the board to use the Android automotive system inside the car. And in this video we would like to show you what the Android automotive operating system is and why more and more car makers are making the shift to this system. Traditionally, when we look at car infotainment system, the operating system is something that the car manufacturer builds by themselves. And of course, over the years, we have had the smartphone integration through CarPlay or Android Auto, where the users could use their own applications from the smartphone, but it was never very reliable. And of course, the user experience was limited to what was available on the smartphone. With this system of Polestar 2, what happened was for the first time, Google decided to open up their Android platform and build it within the car, which means that Android now has very seamless integration within the car as an operating system. And that means that directly people can use Google's services like Maps, YouTube Music, Google Assistant directly in the car without having the need for a smartphone. Once you launch a car, it's a physical product and it stays on the road for many years and that means that the the experience that you give with the infotainment system needs to be updated otherwise it will be the same experience for many years but with this uh, android automotive operating system everything gets updated on a very quick basis basically like a smartphone for all the parties involved like the oem and the app developers and the customizers it gets much faster because we can already rely on a system that we know before. You don't have to implement everything from the scratch. You already have tested components. Um, you can rely on things like connectivity. Uh, for all parties involved, it will be a faster time to market. Working with Android Automotive for the first time, it was, um, it was a pretty seamless experience, honestly, to go from my team is made up of Android developers with decades of experience shared between us. Entering Android Automotive, thankfully, the way that it's been built out, the way it's architected, it's just an extension of Android. So we are able to use the exact same tools that we use to build Android apps for mobile devices. So for the most part, it's a pretty painless transition from Android to Android Automotive. So for me as a UX designer, um, using the Android Automotive OS brings in a lot of advantage because now the designs are not only just designs but we can very easily use Google Tablet and bring the designs into a live environment and can quickly deploy it and that means that we can test it on the road we can get feedback from users and also for an OEM or a client we can easily demo the product and can quickly deploy it according to the specifications. I think Valtech Mobility is uniquely suited to work in the Android Automotive space because even before working in Android Automotive, uh, Valtech Mobility has worked with a variety of OEMs uh, across the world in a variety of topic areas, including infotainment. But drilling down into Android Automotive itself, we also have talented engineers both in the Android traditional application skill set and also in the system AOSP skill set across multiple regions at this point. So India, Latin America. Uh, Detroit in the U.S. and Germany. We have talent in all these places and in that way we're prepared to work both with the global OEMs uh, and the more regionalized OEMs. Automotive is a global industry so I think we're pretty well positioned to help with whatever topics may come up.